Hi everyone and welcome to the next chapter. Today I will be reviewing Perfect Little World by Kevin Wilson. Now I actually read another one of his books last year called Nothing to See Here and that one was a kind of quirky and fun one about a nanny who has to take care of a couple of kids who always spontaneously burst into flames whenever they're upset. And so I looked forward to reading this one because I was hoping it would be just as quirky and fun as the last one. So Perfect Little World is about a single mom who joins a psychology experiment where her and nine other families live together in a commune and they all have to help raise their children together under the supervision of the experiment. Um, for the first five years of their children's lives, the children are all um, sleep together, they all play together, they're all raised together, and every parent is in charge of helping to take care of those children and an equal responsibility for them. So, um, you know, they might rotate taking care of them at night or during playtime, that kind of thing. And none of the children up until the age of five years know who their biological parent is. So during this time, the parents, as part of the experiment, are also able to um, have any of their career and educational goals be met as well. And so the experiment will help pay for that. And so if you want to go back to school or you want to get some sort of special training, you can do that while having your turn and everyone else taking their turn taking care of all the kids. So it's um, really... Uh, interesting to see how they work that out and how that happens with the kids and um, how the kids bond with every adult and then when they become five years old then it's revealed to each kid who their biological parents are and then they go live with them in their home in the commune. So there's definitely some pros and cons to the experiment. Um, the parents get lots of support um, and they're able to pursue those goals that they want to do, which is a long-term benefit because the experiment is only supposed to go till they're 10 years old. But they also don't get to be the only parent to their child and they do have to stick within the parameters of the experiment. So it's really interesting to see what they do with that. Is it better to be a stress parent doing it all on your own, but you get to make 100% of the decisions for your child, or is it better to have all the help and support and financial support and everything that you could ever need, but you don't get to fully be the one that's in charge of your child and getting to determine what's best. So it's really some interesting things to talk about. I think it would actually make a really good book club book. So, um, and even though the topic sounds really heavy, it's actually not that moved quickly and the author does have the same peculiar quirkiness to it, but also the book has a lot of heart to it as well. So um, I think you would enjoy it. And let me know in the comments below, would you participate in an experiment like that? Thanks for watching.